Oops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops. And I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Hey, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point the way shall point to the next. That's what the book says. That's what the book says to do. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door. So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magic on that magic map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. Let's do it! Greetings to everybody from Mentis. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door in the last episode. Uh, after having finished chapter one, we Oh, oh, also along, which during chapter one we managed to get that little curse move, which lets me get that, yay. But we finished chapter one and uh, we played as Peach, learned where she is, apparently in Exnop Fortress, and being held by Lord Crump and Sir Grotus. And uh, also met Tech, uh, T E C X J 9, so now I'm afraid to remember. Um, I met him, who has fallen in love with Peach, and wants to learn more about love from Peach. I've seen artwork of that online. And then we also got to play as Bowser, who had many comedic moments with his underlings and Kami Koopa. And then learned that Peach has learned everything that's going on here, and is now out to try and save Peach himself by kidnapping her. It's great. I love the thought of that. Before I head back to Rogueport, however, I want to talk to this kid. Hey, I gotta say, all I do is play my Nintendo GameCube. Best system ever, am I right? Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, I saved up for a new game. The sequel to Paper Mario. I just got started, but it's a blast so far. A blast! Try it for yourself and see. Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't sound that fun to me. I don't really think I'd care about it. If this game were made nowadays, would... Would that kid be talking about making Let's Plays? Hello. Mario, you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? I don't want to listen to it. Fine. Oh, is that Mailbox SP? Cool! With the light? Because the Game Boy Advance SP was backlit and it was amazing. It's so sad that it took them that many versions of Game Boy to be able to actually get a backlight on there. Nowadays I can't imagine. Kids these days don't know the troubles we had having no backlight. You had to buy these little peripherals that attached onto the thing. Didn't light it up a damn. It was completely useless. Anyway. Hey, who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these star Crystal Stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that we have the, that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow, wait a second, isn't that from Princess Peach, THE Princess? Even though there are like three others in the Mario universe? And she's definitely not the best one. Seriously, Tech could do better in his choice of princesses to love. Daisy's far superior. Anyway! So that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Astute observation, Goombella. Yeah, I'll kill you. Why not? So yes, our goal now, I was going to have my introduction say we, we are now going to do this and go to Rogueport and present the Crystal Star, but the game already told me what to do, so... Obviously no point in me saying all that. 
Uh, let's just take these guys out one by one. Uh, when do I get stronger shoes in this game? I think it's next chapter, actually. That'd be nice. I'd like it if it were next chapter. Oh, dang it, I missed my timing. Eeny, meeny, miny, you dead! I could have done stylish, but I didn't feel... Meh, whatever. Don't matter none. You know, we're again very close to another level up. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. Son of a bitch, I just realized that, just like the old days, the games reflected in my glasses. This is uh, one of the downsides to wearing glasses. You know, I'm not gonna fight all these guys. That's hardly any star points. I mean, I probably just passed up like... Ten star points, probably. Oh, but it would take up so much time. Oh, but what have been ten star points? Oh, but what have wasted so much time? I can easily get those ten star points in the next chapter. Mmm. Whatever. Let's move on. I would have... I don't think I would have made that jump, so I've just jumped and then just completely missed. I fired at him, and that's not my joke, I'm not about to steal it. Whoosh, okay. So, what have we got, what have we got? We got that guy I don't care about. What is in here? I am curious. I can do that now, so I want to know. Oh, something in the background, apparently. Didn't even notice this back here. So what does this lead me to? Hello? Ooh. That's the charmer Merli. Ah, Merli isn't. She's bright and cheery, huh? If you have her charm, if you have her charm you, you'll receive various bonuses in battle. Sweetie, she's already charmed me. They're super helpful, so next time you have a chance, be sure to have her charm you. Oh, and I hear she's a twin sister of Merlove Lee, the fortune teller. Hello, welcome. I'm Mali. Underground, cute as can be. A fortune teller, that is me. Lucky for you, coming here. I tell fortunes have no fear, heart. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well. Oh, let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? That's good, that's great. Choose your path to fate, heart. Which path do you choose? Special, of course. I don't think I ever did this when I was a kid. I don't remember doing this that much, but I obviously do it all the time in the first Paper Mario, so I might as well do it here. Okay, that's fine by me. So, ready? Ready for me? You just rhyme me with me. You are a failure as a poet. Okay, here we go, heart. You didn't even rhyme the O part. I did. I rhyme heart with heart. Unintentionally. Oh, maybe I did do this? I said... I don't remember. It don't matter. And I'm gonna regret shaking my head all around a place like this, because I apparently have a headache, and shaking around does not help. Don't care. My mystic power can make ba My mystic power can make you smile, heart. In battle, you win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive, heart. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye, heart. Thank you, girl. Did I just say girl? Like the G U R L? Blech. I feel despicable now. Now, I could try and time my jump to land on that platform and go down the pipe. But why would I waste my time with that when I can just as easily just sneak on through? Same as here. Why would I waste my time doing anything else so I could just go right down? I still have to fly across, though. I can't wait to break this block. Ooh, wait. Have I fought a Spinia yet? Damn it. I missed. Uh, yep. Obviously, I have. I'm guessing you don't give me any more, uh, star points than you did uh, than the Goombas, right? Probably just give me one. Yeah. Not even worth my time. But hey, thank you. You rounded that out to an even number, so that cured my OCD. Well, not cured my OCD, but it satisfied my OCD, is what I meant to say. Multiples of five. Better if they're ten. 
Anyway, let's see. Uh, Y button. I had to think about that for a moment there. We and that's good enough. Um, so we can go through bars now. And I'm pretty sure there are bars, right? As I enter, the yeah, there are. So, what is over? Oh, whoops. Sorry, Mario. Well, you're hitting your head on blocks all the time. What am I apologizing for? Um. Okay. So. Oh, this. Oh, crap. Come on. Let me up here. Yeah, another shine sprite. What do they do? I don't know. Yep, so there's this thing. Danger. Do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. First attack and bump attack badges won't work, so beware. We are not doing this for s dozens of episodes. I am not going anywhere near that for several dozen episodes. Okay, Mario, you ready? Hold that crystal star up. It'd be cool if they had, like, all the partners you have so far just, like, circle you in this little, smaller part. It'd be cool. I feel more like they're involved rather than just interchangeable here. Like, obviously, I have them all come, but make it more like a ceremony and hold the paper aloft. It'd certainly make it more interesting to look at than just this of us just staring here. Oh, now it kind of glows. Top center, I remember this. Yep. Looking awfully gray there. Looks exciting. The location of Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Woo! Oh, check it out, Mario. The location of the next Crystal Star has appeared. But I... I have no idea where that is. Okay, I guess we ought to let Professor Frankly tell us where that place is. When in doubt, Frankly out. Close the book. I see, I see. Crystal clear. I didn't even notice the pun, thanks. Yeah, yeah, great pun. Come on, where's the next crystal star, prof? It's in the bo- It's in the boggly woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the boggly woods? Okay. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the Crystal Stars. Oh, and the worst part? She said that she doesn't even know where she is. Uh-oh. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns. I know, man. Unknown variables are the worst. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. Then we'll head to for Bogley Woods to find the next crystal star. Let's do it! Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the Crystal Stars and the ancient treasure. Okay. Thanks. Bye. So, Luigi! Who's this guy? Come on, you really need to ask me that? Give me a break. That's your brother, Luigi. But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. Sure. Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. Eh? Who? Oh, me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was a pretty crazy, bro. Want to hear about what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes. We always want to hear these. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Waffle Kingdom letter. 
Well, like a, he has his own music. <laughs> well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. My bigger brother, that's you bro, got a letter from Princess of Peach and it took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crep. I am a cabinet ma minister in the far off Waffle Kingdom. Is this a kitchen? Is this just all a kitchen? Because it sounds like a kitchen. Crep, cabinet, waffle. I'm making this joke now because I never noticed as a kid. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut the King, who took our Princess Eclair. Eclair. Chestnut Eclair. Also, is this the King of the Goombas? No, we already met Goomba King. So who the hell is this? Some wannabe? I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crep. Oh. Oh, I just noticed the music is old paper. Do, 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 do. Well, it's Paper Mario music because which Mario game is it originally from? I oh, don't know, I'm horrible like that. My memory sucks. But I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went to something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer his plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Wild for Kingdom to investigate. Oh, no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Wild for Kingdom, I met Minister Crep who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and had vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in a tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? Uh-huh, I believe you came up with that, Luigi. <laughs> Mario and Goombell are both asleep. <laughs> the minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffle f Waffler Fables. When it activated... Did that say Waffler Fables? Okay. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards Rumba Bumper Volcano. Why is the volcano always in the south? Why? On the Putin continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm a sailing out of a rogue pod for Rumba Bump Volcano. It's probably gonna be a pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. If you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. I will gladly come find you, Luigi. So, just like in the first game, we have side quest stuff that we will do first and foremost. Such as this place, it's all done in Trouble Center, thankfully. Hey, is this your first time in Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them for you first. Need an explanation? No, basically what happens, it's Koopa Koop, uh, from first game. You look at the trouble board, people request help, do certain missions, Go do ex go meet them, talk to them, do what they want, come back here, I think. No, go to them, you'll get a reward. Then come back here and do another mission. You can't do two missions at the same time. Anyway. Oh, it has to be explained? Oh. This, is, this trouble center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you if you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone to try and help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward. Probably not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to... Oh, you have to pay to cancel. I have never canceled, so... You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Yeah, we got a lot of side quests to do. So we know what this week will be spent on. Cool. They call me Gorf. I have lost my key and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Yeah, sure. Very back of... Uh, is that this one? Oh, Garf. That's Garf, part of the Robo Gang. I'm pretty sure he's related to Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on looks. Good lesson. You took all my trouble, you? Oh, nah, I'm, I'm sticking with the same voice, why not? Then please uh, find my key, and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get into my house, so I'll stay on guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. To the bad shop! Thankfully, we already know where the bad shop is. This will be a great way in this episode, solving our first trouble. 
Uh, actually, you know what? It's a great way up any episode now. So join me next time and we will solve troubles. Many troubles. Until we get them all done and caught up with between chapters 1 and 2. Until then, this has been Amentus. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Adios!